Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop all made systems to help you win big every time. Again, no matter what sport you're betting on, we have all the tools to help you make your picks. So before we get into Sunday, May 30th games in NBA, I want to invite you to join and you'll have access to the VIP club section here with all these tools to help you make your picks. So there are four games on tap for the 30th of May. First round of the NBA playoffs, so let's get started. Scroll down through here. The first matchup we want to take a look at is the New York Knicks and the Atlanta Hawks. After falling in the first game of the series, the Knicks rebound to even the series. They're now off to Atlanta to face the Hawks. On the power ranking indicator, you see that the Hawks have the advantage of plus 26. 2 plus 18. The Hawks are burning hot down, and the Knicks are average up. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under for this game, you see that how the Knicks were trending well above the line for quite some time, but now they are trending in games below the line, minus 4 points. And if you look down here for the Hawks, they are also trending in games under the line. So that's probably a good indication to bet the under. But before we do that, let's take a look at the scores predictor and see what that has to say. If you look at the scores predictor, you can see a 112 to 104 uh, scores predictor in favor of Atlanta with 88% confidence. That's a high confidence in that in that score prediction. Now, you, we don't know what the uh, total line is yet, so you have to take that into consideration before you place the bet for the over-under. So right now, that total is 216. So, you know, if that uh, total is below 216... You want to bet the over. So we'll take a look at that before he makes the, the bet. As far as overall, what I think is going to happen with this game, I think that the Hawks should be able to take care of business at home and come away with the victory and go up 2-1 to one in the series. The Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers lead the series 2-1 to one and enter Sunday's game with a as a huge fair. You see 1.384 to 3.40 odds. The Lakers are burning hot status at the moment. And the Phoenix Suns are average. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Phoenix, that was at 29, they have dropped slightly there at plus 27. The Lakers, because of their recent trend, they were at plus 22, and now they have increased to plus 25. Again, if you're looking for the over and under on this one, look at Phoenix. Playing in games trending well over the line. And in fact, they have been over the line since all the way back in the beginning of April. If you look at the Lakers, they've been playing in games trending under the line mostly. So this is an interesting scenario as far as whether or not you want to bet the over, bet the under, or don't bet that at all. In fact, I'd probably be leaning towards not betting the over or under, but let's take a look at the totals predictor first before we make that decision. Or the scores predictor, excuse me. The scores prediction up here, you see Los Angeles by a 107 to 104 margin with the confidence in the prediction at 65%. It's a pretty good uh, level of confidence, but take a look at that total is 211 points. So again, you want to make sure you see what that line is before you bet either the over or the under on this one. I'm not sure where that line's going to fall. It's not posted yet, and the odds for this game are not completely posted yet as well as far as what the line is going to be. So you want to take that into consideration, but you see that the Lakers are a huge favorite. I expect that the Lakers will probably win this game at home and take a commanding three game to one lead in the series. The Brooklyn Nets at the Boston Celtics. The Nets head into Boston with the lead in the series and have a huge edge here on the power ranking indicator as you notice at plus 28 to plus 11. The Nets are burning hot at the moment. You can see win, 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 win. You know, win at least in the last six, maybe even further back. I did not take a look at that, but at least they have won their last six. And Boston coming in, losers of four out of their last six in the first two games in this series. If you look at the prediction, the totals predictor, you can see here, look. The Nets way under the line here, right? And Boston, now under the line after being over the line for quite some time, going all the way back to the end of April. 
Let's take a look at the prediction for the score. And a 108 to 107 narrow edge for Brooklyn. But the conference in prediction is a little bit less than a toss of a coin at 49%. So take that with a grain of salt. I do expect the game to be a lot uh, closer in score due to the fact that this is a nearly must-win situation for Boston. And they're playing at home. So they should play at least a little bit better. But I still don't think they have enough to take down the Nets. I think the Nets will win the game. Um, take a look at the at the spread, point spread when that comes out and the line. I think it's going to be a closer game. If it's a one point win, then you want to take uh, you probably want to take Boston to cover because they will probably be a home underdog by more than one point. But it will be a lot closer line than previously when the Nets were at home. So take a look in a day or two at what the line is for this one. Then the last game, the Los Angeles Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks. The Clippers head to Boston down 0-2. A little bit of a surprise that they are down 0-2, and they are really in dire straits here in a nearly must-win situation in Dallas. Dallas is burning hot at the moment. You see they have won four out of their last six, and the Clippers ice cold down, losers of their last four, and losers of four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Dallas has the edge at plus 21, to plus 16. You can see how the Clippers have dropped considerably from plus 26 just uh, two weeks ago down to plus 16. Looking for the over and under in this one. The Clippers have been trending in games under the line going all the way back to April the 4th, well, April the 16th. And Dallas has been playing in games trending over the line for the most part back the previous month. So again, there's a difference between these two teams as far as the over and under. So let's take a look at the, what the score prediction looks so like. The score prediction right here is at 104 to 101 in favor of Dallas to go ahead 3 to nothing in the series. But again, the confidence in prediction is just barely higher than the, the coin toss. So take that with a grain of salt. Come back closer to the game to see if this has changed. Right now, I'm thinking, though, that I believe that Dallas probably will take the game again. I don't know by how many. Take a take a closer look back at this, closer to game time. Take a look at the line. Take a look at the over-under. But Dallas will win the game and go ahead 3-0 in the series. So there you have it. Those are the four games for May the 30th in the NBA playoffs first round. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.